for this circuit that you'll need are jumper cables an Arduino Uno Rev 3 which I bought from Amazon for $20 a breadboard seven LEDs or you could use six uh, you'll need red preferably two, three red LEDs two green two yellow it doesn't really matter what color you use as long as you're using about six or seven or eight to come to make a sequence and then you're going to need six seven or eight uh, 220 ohm resistors to match up with the number of LEDs you have and then you'll need a power supply which I use a 9 volt power supply which I got from Amazon for $5 and then if you don't have a 9 volt power supply you could use a USB cable that connects to your Arduino Uno and you can hook that up into your computer and it would power the circuit. Alright so this is how you get the coding for the LED blinking light circuit. I went to Arduino.org and I downloaded the zip file for Windows Arduino IDE version 1.7.8 and then once I did that I went to SunFounder and SunFounder.com which is the, the manufacturer of my Arduino and I got the, the uh, sketch for Arduino and I copied that copy and I went into what I just downloaded which was Arduino and I opened that up and I just pasted it right in here to the sketch and I hooked up my Arduino to my computer and uploaded it to my Arduino and then I put the rest together which you'll see right now. Alright so the ports that we'll be using in this video is GND and 13 and GND will be used for the cathode part of the LED and 13 will be for the anode part of the LED. port 13 and your GND cords come across onto the breadboard and what you're going to want to do is have them split into two separate rows because each each column on the on the breadboard they follow an electrical current and they're connected by a piece of metal so basically what I did here is I had this one supply this GND cord supply all of these cords which are connecting to all the LEDs uh, to flow the electrical current into the cathode leg of the LED as seen here. The cathode leg of the LED is the smaller leg or the shorter leg and the anode part is the longer leg. So that's basically what you're going to want to do and the next thing you want is a 220 ohm resistor for each, ca uh, each anode part of the LED. So if I can get that back in there. There we go. And that will that will cause your your LED to not to burn out and and it will basically you'll be finished after that once you get every GND hooked up to the cathode and every port 13 cord hooked up to the anode part of the LED. So let's let's hook it up. for watching my Arduino Uno blinking LED circuit and stay tuned for more tutorials on Arduino Uno circuits and don't hesitate to check out one of my videos on calculus, chemistry, and other subjects. So once again, thank you. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and have a Merry Christmas.